We have more troopers coming in. Uh, the National Guard is uh, uh, adding numbers as well. Um, their safety in numbers, so troops from all over the state are coming out here to assist every week. On a ride along today, we saw migrants waiting in a rest area by the fence, other migrants walking over in groups, and others being detained and waiting for Border Patrol. Torres says even when things are calm, troopers and other law enforcement along the border won't let their guard down. You come here, you're aggressive, you assault people, whether it's another legal uh, migrant or whether it's a, an officer, National Guardsman, whoever it is, you're going to get state charges. You're going to go to jail for it. Torres brought up Operation Lone Star, the governor's controversial program that provides state resources to patrol the border. He says troopers are just trying to do what they're told to help with the migrant situation. We're hoping that with the efforts that we're doing with Operation Lone Star, we can still manage to deter the, the migrants from coming in. He says it's not about keeping people out, but trying to make sure they're not coming over illegally. So for those that are trying to cut the wire or get through or try to force their way through, don't. The best way to come into this country is go to the port of entry. If you're seeking asylum, go to the port of entry. Do it the right way. We'll keep you updated on air and online on how DPS continues to carry out these safety measures to protect the community here of El Paso. Reporting at the U.S.-Mexico border, Jacqueline Quiñones, KFOX 14 News at 5.